The Genesis Prize is a wonderful amplifier. It's a mix between an amplifier and a spotlight. The Genesis Prize and its donors, they really dream of inspiring the next generation of Jews. Genesis Prize is going to people who are going to try and use it for good works because it is very much dedicated to improving the lives of other people. The Genesis Prize selects a human being who is both Jewish and leaves his mark on the world. It's the Jewish Nobel Prize. People get given a prize to re-gift to things that they love and they're passionate about. The, the Genesis Prize chooses its honoree. That honoree has a specific mission. I feel you really are repairing the world to some degree in some small way. The Genesis Philanthropy Group and the Genesis Prize Foundation. Both organizations founded by the same group of gentlemen, Michael Friedman, Garman Hahn, Peter Avin, Stan Polovitz. They saw a need for those in the Jewish community who were somewhat disconnected from their identities and their roots to be much more involved and appreciative of their heritage. They founded the prize with an idea that people whose names were recognizable to many throughout the world would have a platform to make a difference in the world. Since Genesis Philanthropy Group and the Genesis Prize Foundation have been established, over a quarter of a billion dollars in grants have been given. Genesis Prize primarily based on their Jewish values. We would like to demonstrate to the youngsters who are living in Germany or you know in France or in, in, in Spain that to rely on Jewish value is very efficient path to success. I realize that I am a link in a very, very long chain that my ancestors, those who were burned in furnaces and those who suffered and struggled, did not give up their Jewish identity. I am a judge born, raised, and proud of being a Jew. It teaches the Israelis about world Jewish diaspora and its contribution to the world. And it teaches the diaspora about the centrality of Israel and about how Israel is contributing to the world. It highlights the connection between Israel and Jews in the diaspora. And it brings the diaspora Jews closer to Israel, and it actually gives the Jews abroad an understanding of who we are. It's good to be home. Let me restate that. It's good to be home again. Being a Jew is a minority. There's been upsurges of anti-Semitism, even violent anti-Semitism. So again, you ask yourself, why would I identify as a Jew when I could drift and be accepted into the majority? So it becomes very important to meet Jews who, because of their success, would be welcome into every circle, but they understand the great strength that they get from their Jewish heritage. Our rabbis teach us, Ein davar omed lefnei haratzon. The power of will allows us to accomplish great things. Jews survived thousands of years in each country and kept their tradition, followed their religion. This is a people that had a vision of a world of justice and equality and peace. This is the story of Genesis. The ceremony, the giving of the prize, is a message in and of itself. In this case, the medium is the message because the ceremony brings together Israelis and diaspora leaders in a night of celebration to bring different constituents together to celebrate and to think together of solving problems and uh, addressing issues in the Jewish world is a big message in and of itself, besides being a ton of fun. The Lord are chosen by the representatives of Jewish people it's really a very sophisticated process. They start with hundreds of nominees in different fields, and there is a very systematic vetting. Most prize winners take the money home, and they, they're certainly entitled to it. I don't begrudge it to them. Here, what they have done is they've gone to the community, and they've not only given that gift, but they have rallied other people to join them. I had the privilege of a lifetime to work with such amazing individuals. The chair of the committee when I joined was Speaker of the Knesset, Uli Edelstein, the former president of the Israeli Supreme Court, Meyer Shamgar, retired Judge Tova strasburg Cohn, and of course, a blessed memory, Elie Wiesel. I visit prospective laureates. We talk about what issues are personally resonant to them, ways in which they see their own role in making a difference in the world. The Genesis Prize has given me an opportunity to make some of my dreams come true. 
to help others the way I was helped. Lots of our laureates have felt as if the year was personally, spiritually, intellectually broadening for them. We found that that's a great unintended consequence of the prize, that not only do they move us, but we've had the ability to move them. The prize winner transforms the field, but they also get transformed, and they discover a part of their lives that they weren't so in touch with. The impact areas of the Genesis Prize is what counts. It's not only the ceremony itself, it's actually where the money will be directed to. Well, the contribution of the Genesis Prize funding to three programs in Myanmar and in Uganda, it's a great example of how a Jewish organization like Genesis has supported our work to help the most vulnerable in these places. One of the nice things about Genesis is that they do things that really fit in with what I do. It is very nice to be able to work with people who actually have the same values. And together we can do great things and have. The basic characteristics of the work of the Genesis Prize Foundation are present in everything they do. The way they select their prize winner, the way they do programs on the ground, the way they run the ceremony. I think that in all these areas, there are common denominators of high quality, a lot of responsibility, perfectionism even, and a real sense of responsibility for the voice they have in the Jewish world. The Genesis Prize, because of the projects, has done a very good job of raising the bar on what Israelis and Jews in the diaspora can do so we can learn from each other. The prize has enabled us to be a more active Jewish people. If you take the Jewish community in any society, the way that they have enrich the society in so many different ways and use that influence for the betterment of that society. That is a, you know, that's an amazing thing. Think big, take chances, believe that tomorrow can be better than today, and understand that it's your responsibility to help make it so. I invite other philanthropists to join us and do what I did, do what Genesis did, and let us make an impact, let us make a change.